It's so last century. They're happy to chant, rant and rave and progressing their cause of keeping things standing still and moving backwards while changing economic pressures have kept the world moving on, changing and adapting. Like any bully, they are happy to smack, but once they get smacked, it's wah, 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 uh, all the way to anyone who will listen. Your views are quite clear. Helen, good morning to you. Good morning, Sean. Um... Look, there's been, I would say, a consensus emerging amongst uh, our callers this morning that if you're going to, um, you know, play with matches, you might occasionally get your fingers burnt. That if this guy's going to go out in the media and say that his employers are, are mean and not family friendly, you, you can only expect the employers to bite back. Well, that's not what this guy did, actually. Radio New Zealand stuck a microphone in front of him and said, why is he on the picket line? He said, because I'm being dismissed by my employer and being replaced by um, uh, cheaper labour. And actually, I want to work for my employer. I like working for the Port of Auckland, and I've, I want to protect the job security and be able to have some security around my family income. He didn't criticise the port. In fact, he was saying... But hang he on, he was standing on a picket line... Um, full of union members, some of whom have made a YouTube video using their families in a very emotive way to engender yeah, public sure. support. Yeah, but let's have a look about this. Why do employers collect private information about their workers? They collect it to run their business. That's the condition on which they collect it. This guy's wife was dying of cancer in 2007, and the port gave him leave, 50 days annual leave, which he was entitled to, and some other leave. 21 he weeks is, in total. A, he is about to be dismissed in five weeks' time, and he is uh, fighting to protect his job. He can apply for a new job. No, he can apply for a new job on any terms that the contractor chooses to offer. He may or may not get it. He's got a job. His job will continue. The day after he's made redundant, his work on that port will continue, and the port, to bully him, to push him back, has released this private information and, and, and in an he has he applied for a new job? What's that, sorry? Has he applied for a new job? Now, these workers don't want to be contracted out. They don't want to be made redundant. They don't want to be replaced. Then why did they go on strike? Because they want to stop the port doing what they're doing. They want to stop the port contracting out. They want a collective employment agreement and uh, they want to return to work. Then why didn't they settle? Because they were... A collective employment agreement was put in front of them with absolutely no employment security that had removed even basic things like the uh, rehabilitation of injured workers. Uh, it had removed all sorts how of come so many other people, yeah, How come so many other people are prepared to work under those conditions? Well, people shouldn't have to work under those How come so many other people are? Well, like who? Well, people in Tauranga, the other workers who are on contract at the port. Well, no, the people, the people in Tauranga fought hard and lost the battle to retain secure uh, work in Tauranga and, and would have loved to have been able to, to win and to retain them. There's very few people working in the Port of Auckland, but really, Sean, what is the deal around work? The deal around work is you exchange your wages for labour in a fair trade and that you uh, should have sufficient security to be able to pay your mortgage, to be able to pay your power. If that's not the deal anymore, if you can go to work... And just be and be paid anything and have no control over that and have the state have to bail you out with the additional support to even make basic ends meet. Then let's have a discussion. What was the about average it. wage for the people on strike? They are earning twenty seven dollars an hour. What was the what average port, annual? No, I'll, I'll tell you yeah. what you're you're alluding to. Let's be upfront here. You're suggesting the port's information that full time wharfies are earning ninety one thousand dollars a year is the facts. Well not the facts and the port's back down on that now and agreed. What the is the average Okay, what is, is the average wage for the people on strike? Well I don't know because I've never released what the average wage is across the whole workforce. So well they, why not? Isn't that relevant as people try and make a decision? They earn twenty seven dollars an hour. I'm telling you what the wage okay, is. Okay, which is what twice the minimum wage? Rate, whether they're working night day, whether they're working yeah. Saturday, Sunday, whether they're working Christmas Day, there is a flat rate of $27 an hour. Now, you can work out, if you yeah. work 40 hours, what you might get paid. If you work 60 hours, if you work 80 okay. hours, what you might get paid. And a lot of that time, they're not actually working. They are working, Sean, and that's another piece of misinformation. Firstly, the port said they've got 91000 for 26 hours. Now they say it's 91000 includes only full-timers and includes all of the additional costs of employing them and is 49 hours. They have never said, they have never said what a worker who earns $91,000 a year would have to work in terms of hours. And you know why they haven't said that? Because it's, it's, it's a hell of a lot of hours. You'd have to work at 27 bucks an hour to get to 91000 Any one of your listeners can work it out. This port is stooping to anything to depict these workers. Yeah, okay. At the moment, though, the lazy. workers are redundant. They're going to hire contractors. I understand the picket's gone today. 
No, no, the picket hasn't gone. <coughs> Are you still stopping members of the public trying to go around their lawful business and get into no, the No, we port? didn't stop members of the public. And I'm really disappointed that you're taking such an aggressive action. No, no, I'm not. I'm just asking the question. Out of control. Apparently you were... No, 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 Helen, 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 were you stopping... Were you stopping people at the gates to the ports of Auckland? Actually, on Monday, when a ship came in and was going to be loaded by replacement labour, the port workers were stopping the uh, members of another union going through to bring that ship in. And well, I'm that sorry, and I'm hey, sorry, Helen finish. Clark, but let in the year... Uh, Helen let Kelly, no, no, but I'm sorry, in the year 2012, what on earth are you doing stopping other people going around their lawful business and they going to their them. workplace. They were letting them through. They were letting through. Anybody that was going through, except other other Except other, other union minister. members. Well, I'm sorry, you've got no right, right to do that. You've got no right to do are, that in a free are, country. You're, you're allowed to protest in this country. You're not allowed to stop other people for... going about their law, lawful business, Helen Kelly. That's no, bully tactics. No, it was a lawful packet, and you are allowed to protest in this country. And if you're suggesting people can't protest in this country when the sort of thing the port is doing to them is being done, then I, then I suggest that you're not part of a normal democracy. Well, what I'm saying is, I, but, but protesting does not stop, it doesn't mean stopping other people going to work. Well, sometimes protesting causes inconvenience. Yes, it does. But what they were doing was actually letting through hundreds of people, people who were uh, going through that, through that picket line to do their normal duties. What they were picketing for was to, to stop people going through to bring that ship in that was going to be worked by replacement labour. This is a fight for these people's security of employment, their future of work, and, and really the port is behaving in the most atrocious way. And we know the people of Auckland don't like it. They tuned up on Saturday to protest. Oh, come on, 5,000 people out of the population of Auckland is hardly anything. It was, a, it was a big march for a Saturday afternoon, and we know from the people tooting as they go past the picket line, the people dropping off food, people donating money, that people understand that workers are entitled to security of employment, are entitled to earn a living, and that what the port is doing is simply the most draconian effort to get rid of their workforce. OK, it doesn't sound like it's over yet. Um, it's certainly not over yet. No, there's, uh, the redundancy notices uh, would take effect in about five weeks, and we intend to spend the next five weeks trying to get their, their uh, employment back. Okay. You're going to stop other people going to work? We may have further pickets on that picket line, yes. Uh, Helen Kelly, why can't you just stay? You are, you are stopping people going lawfully going to their jobs. Well, it's a lawful picket, so we're not... No, 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 stopping picket. someone... Why can't you, Sean, for one minute but, take a because breath... Because I think that an individual in New Zealander has workers. the right to go to work and why? have no you other have person... You've your employment in... rights before when you're, you feel like your employer has had a go at you unfairly. I've seen you do it. And, and I've walked, accept... and I have walked in every instance when I felt I, I have decided to take... And my you've challenged your employer, you've used yep. the law, why don't you allow these workers to... Do I've never stopped them. anyone else going to work. 300, well you haven't had to, 320 workers are about to be dismissed for no reason when their jobs are continuing because this port wants to bring in cheaper labour. If you don't back workers to get decent jobs, then there's no future for any worker in this country. They should take what they get, they should shut up, they should comply with the business and they should be treated in the most disrespectful way. If you're advocating that, go ahead. Helen Kelly, I thank you very much indeed for your time this morning.